it's still your time. The road to success is always under construction. Why do we as people delay what we want or delay the process to begin what we want? Break through to the other side. I'm saying to you that you got to put forth an effort. Give God something to bless. God is a forgiving God. That's how I exist today. It's still your time. Unsuccessful have created a lot of saying to justify our failures. As well. well, my ship has passed. That was created by a person who did not quite make their goal in the amount of time that they had set for. So to justify it, here comes this great, seemingly very clever saying well, my ship has passed. So we adopt that. Here's another one. Well, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. That sounds good, don't it? Because they mix it up with a little bit of faith base in it. I guess if God wanted it for me, I'd have it. Are you serious? You're actually going to use that one to justify where you are in life, man? I want to remind everybody today that it's still your time, that your ship hasn't sailed. You didn't miss all of your opportunities. There's others. It's still your time. You still got a chance. You still have a shot. Here's a good one. You still have hope. You do. As long as God is who he is, there's always hope. You can never lose sight of that. You can never let the devil win that battle, that there is no hope. It's still your time. You still got a chance. There's always hope. So many people are not getting the full benefit of their life. So many people are not getting all the blessings that God has for them because you keep waiting on the perfect time. And how many times have I heard people come to me and say, hey man, I'm just waiting on everything to line up right, man. The road to success is always under construction. You ain't finna go out there and there ain't no barrels on the road. You're not going out there and not running to deep to a sign. You're not going out there without seeing the men working sign to get off. You're not going out there to see it. So guess what, man? This is the perfect time to do it now. You have got to move and you've got to make a decision to go now. God will get you through everything necessary for you to get through. But you can't quit, though. See, here's a, here's a part. You can't quit. Just because the road you're on is under construction, you can't get off at the exit because you're tired of all the bumper to bumper traffic. It's that way. Get you some God and go on and go see what your life can be like. Stop expecting it to be easy. Come on out here. It's hard out here. Yeah, I got all that. But what you want to do, man? Huh? What you want to do? You want to push your chips up to the window? It ain't time for that. You still got time. You still got a chance. There's always hope. There's always hope. It's still your time. Why do we as people delay what we want? or delay the process to begin what we want, our hopes, our dreams, our desires. You got something that you've been dreaming about. You got an ambition of yours that's not yet fulfilled. You got goals you haven't accomplished yet. You got dreams, aspirations. Everybody has them. Everybody's got them. Everybody's got something that's, that's on the table that they haven't yet attacked yet. What are you waiting for? Start your mission today. Stop the procrastination now. An idle mind is the devil's playground. So if you ain't working on your goals, dreams, aspirations, or visions, waking up, seeing how today gonna go, or the devil, he got plenty for it. <laughs>
But if you get your mind right on your goal and your focus and your purpose, then you can go on about your business. Then when the distraction comes, you can catch yourself. Now, that don't mean you ain't going to fall privy or fall prey to some of your distractions because you will. But you will have a goal in mind, an aspiration that makes you go, hold on, man. I got to stay focused here because what I really want, what I'm really trying to go to, this new thing that's being introduced, this don't fit into the equation. Man, let me keep it moving. I want to just talk to you about effort today. Just about effort. It's a word that people use to describe trying. But what I found out about trying is trying is just a noble way of saying you didn't get it done. I tried. And then everybody go, well, he tried. That was the best. Well, that's, that's not exactly true. I don't want you to be one of the people who just tried. See, Trying to attempt something, you're going to have to first try. But I want you to change your mindset from trying to getting it done. That's a big difference. When you say, I'm going to get it done, somebody says to me, I'm going to try. Those are two different people I'm talking to. I'm really more apt to listen to the person that says to me, I'm going to get it done. Because trying to me, I know what that means, man. And oftentimes when you've tried, have you ever noticed that you've not gotten it done? If all you're going to do is try, anybody can try. It's the person that has the mindset that I'm going to get it done. It's the person who changes the complexion of things, who changes the outcome of things, who gets a different result. I'm going to get it done is very different than I'm going to try. You know, look, man, I know this sounds a little harsh, but but you got to stop feeding yourself these little old wise sayings that ain't, it was a valiant try. Hey, man, you talk to anybody that took second place in the Super Bowl and see how they feel about their valiant try. You have to put forth an effort. You must start to attempt. I am going to get it done because I just don't see failure as an option a lot of times. Now, what you're saying to me, Steve, I'm saying to you that you got to put forth an effort. Give God something to bless. Oh, God, bless me. Oh, God, bless me. Bless you what? Bless you where? Bless you how? Stop basing your results on what you're thinking. You got to think higher. You get God in your life, man. He allows you to think higher, bigger, better, more. I'm sitting up in my debt. I came up with a plan to get out of debt in five years. Now I said, wait a minute, man, hold up. God created heaven and earth, all of it, in six days. Why am I walking in there talking about help me in five years? How is it going to take God five years to get me out of debt and he made heaven and earth in six days? I ain't that big. You ain't that big. You ain't in that much trouble. I ain't in that much trouble. I'm going to get it done. And at the end of the day, that's what you have to do. Because trying to pay your rent and not paying your rent is two different things. Now, how long you think you're going to stay in that house trying? you got to go with the mindset of getting it done. And if you can put some stuff out there and give God a chance to put his finger on it and bless it for you, the most stuff he can do for you. Quit looking around at what everybody else got and go and get some of it for yourself. The closer you get to what it is you really want, the more difficult it's going to become. But you've got to push through. See, if you don't push through, you never know. See, you can't get right to the answer and because it gets really difficult. No, man, I guess you should not give up right now. I guess you should keep pressing. I guess you should do more. Because see, in all of us, when you've had enough, I want you to know something. You do have a little bit more. You can do one more. I always feel like I can do one more in it. And I tell my friends all the time, I can do one more. Now, here was the jewel that I never really knew. No matter how long the challenge is you've been facing, God has an end date for it all. God has an ending date. All you got to do is keep pressing forward. All you got to do is hang in there. All you got to do is don't give up. Don't turn back. 
there is an end date for all of it. And you break through to the other side, the reward and the benefit is far greater than the struggle.